Hi friends, in this video we are discussing about vectors, especially basic concept of the vectors, what we have in engineering in the vectors. Okay, up to intermediate we are learning the vectors that is especially vector algebra. Vector algebra in that we are discussed like a vector addition, vector we are denoting with a, like a bar, vector addition, huh? next vector subtraction, v product of the vectors. Two type of the product of the vectors we are discussed. One is dot product of the vector and the one is cross product of the vector. After that uh, angle between uh, letter on tangent to the vector we discussed. Okay, next unit nor normal vector, unit normal vector. These all are we discussed uh, up to intermediate and also 10 plus 2. Right, now in engineering what we are going to discuss especially means in the vectors we have algebra and calculus. Vector algebra is 10 plus 2 up to intermediate we have. Now in the vector calculus means what we have in the vector calculus especially for engineering students we have vector differentiation and vector integration. In the calculus also in intermediate we have in the first year calculus vector uh, sorry in the calculus we have differentiation and then integration. Okay now here also we have like a vector differentiation and vector integration. In the vector differentiation uh, actually differentiation means we will discuss differentiation of the function yes or no here also vector differentiation means we will do the differentiation of the vector point function okay these point functions are two types one is scalar point function and a vector point function scalar point function vector point function now we have a differential operator that is del del is equal to here i into summation i am writing directly shortcut if you split this one i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z that is called vector differential operator. This vector differential operator if you are applied for the scalar then which gives a vector only. You see if pi is a scalar and uh, del is a vector then product of these two will give what it is vector into scalar gives a vector. For example 2 is a scalar and i is a vector. Product gives what? 2i. 2i means what? Vector only. Na? So product of two vector and scalar gives if you are applied differential operator on the scalar then we are getting a vector right here this is also called as normal to the vector okay uh, and you will discuss normal vector unit normal vector and uh, suppose like uh, this normal vector we are denoting with uh, n bar n bar is equal we are saying like del pi this del pi also is called as gradient pi del pi also called as gradient pi right next uh, if you know that uh, normal to the surfaces, then angle between two normal to the surface. Suppose n1 bar is uh, one normal to the surface, n2 bar is another normal, then angle between these two. Of course, in the intermediate also you studied this one. Later on what you have means direction, uh, divergence of the vector. Okay, divergence of the vector. This is dot product of the vector. Okay, next, directional derivative we have. After that, uh, we have solenoidal vector. If del dot f bar is equal to 0 then you can say this is solenoidal vector f bar is said to be solenoidal vector and curl of a vector means cross product divergence is dot product of the vector curl gives a cross product of the vector if suppose del cross f bar is equal to 0 bar then you can say that is irrotational vector these all are we will discuss in the vector calculus what is vector differentiation generally many of the universities are uh, making as a one unit of vector differential calculus differential calculus later on we have vector integration in the vector integration what we have means integration you remember in the intermediate also we are done integrations like uh, here also those are uh, the where we are discussed like a definite integral indefinite integral but here we are discussing only definite integral in this uh, definite integral especially what we have means three types of the integrations especially we have first one is line integral also named as work done by a force Okay, line integral. Second one we have surface integral. It means double integral type. X, double in two, two surfaces. Surface is nothing but two variables we are taking here. Line integral means one variable only. Suppose x, y, z. Three variables if they are given. But even though we are converting into one variable. So that is becomes a line integral. Here we are calling as a work done by a force. Next to surface integral we have. And then volume integral means a triple integral like here. Okay, volume integral is like a triple integral. Not exactly triple integral. Volume integral is like a triple integral. Next, based on these three, line, surface, volume, we have a three theorems in the vector integration. That is Gauss divergence theorem, Green's theorem, Stokes theorem. This is about the, here once again I am repeating, 
in the vector integrations what you have means line integral surface integral volume integral based on these three we have theorems first theorem is gauss divergence theorem second theorem is green's theorem third theorem is stokes theorem so entire this vector two types of the units we have in engineering especially okay that is vector calculus in that part is vector differentiation and vector integrations thank you for watching this video